Hi! Uh, today I'm going to be reviewing The Secret by Julie Garwood and there will be spoilers. So if you watched my used bookstore haul, um, I mentioned that um, a lady was helping me in the store because I couldn't quite figure out what I wanted. Um, they were having a sale and so I could get another book for free and I was thinking, oh, I don't really know which one I want. And she was like, oh, you, sh you should get this one. This is my favorite ever. And you should totally read it. Because I had bought a couple of other others of hers during the sale. I hadn't read them yet. So she's like, yes, you have to read it before you come back in. Or else we'll be mad at you. You know, the fake mad type of thing. And so I decided I'll read this one of hers first. Because if I read something else of hers and I don't like it, I won't read this. So I read this one first. And I have to say that I did enjoy it, but it's not, she's not going to be one of my favorite authors. Um, but I am reading another book of hers and I'll see how she's evolved over the years because this one was written in the 80s, I think like 89? No, 1992. Okay, so not the 80s, 1992. But um, yeah, so let me go over the, the premise. Uh, the main characters are Judith and Ian. And Judith met her best friend back when they were four years old, and they met on the border of England and Scotland, and they had sort of a spring festival where they all got together, and so the English and the Scottish don't really like each other, but on the when you're on the border, you know, they kind of interact anyway, so she met her friend, um, her name is uh, Frank. I don't actually I don't remember her name. Frances Catherine. That's her, that's her name, Frances Catherine. And she meets her and promises her that she will come and see her when she's going to have her her, kid, her first child because Frances Catherine is deathly afraid of dying on the deathbed because that's how her mother died and how her grandmother died. So she's super afraid of it. And so do this is like, of course, I will come see you no matter what it takes. And so fast forward several years. They've seen each other each year at the festival. Um, it's been a couple of years since she got uh, since she got married, so she hasn't. So Judith hasn't seen her friend in a few years. But uh, Francis sent her a letter saying, "Yeah, I'm pregnant. You know, I want you to be here." But she's ha having some difficulties convincing the clan that she married into to allow Judith to visit because Judith is English and we hate those damn English. Well, she made her husband promise that you know her friend could come before they get married and so he kind of has to do it and his brother is the laird of the um, entire clan and so he kind of has some sway and they eventually convince the council that okay we'll allow her but they don't think that Judith really wants to come she's like oh no she, she'll just be, she'll just disappoint Frances Catherine and say, oh no, I don't actually want to come. Of course, to their surprise, of course, she's super ready to go. She really wants to come and see her friend and help out. And so they go and, you know, stuff ensues. Well, I think one of the things, one of the reasons why uh, she's probably not going to be one of my more favorite authors is that the characters, like, are instantly attracted to each other. And they, I mean... There, yeah, like they are super attracted to each other, and like, he just randomly kisses her because he's like, "Oh, you're hot, I'm gonna kiss you," and you know she thinks, "Oh man, you're awesome," and then she falls in love with him pretty quickly, and he pretty much falls in love with her too, and they get married, and he basically forces her to marry him, um, and this is before he finds out that she is the daughter of the laird of a rival uh, clan, and you know. He, um, well, actually, he finds out just before he marries her, but he realizes that if he doesn't marry her, somebody else might claim her, and they'll be bad, and he really likes her, so he doesn't want that to happen, and it's all kind of, you know, confusing and random stuff like that. But it is enjoyable, though, because the romance, honestly, the romance is probably the weakest part of this book. Um, I'm actually far, I was actually far more invested in the relationships between Judith and Frances Catherine and Judith with the other women of the clan. Um, Judith kind of gets a reputation as being, um, she, she isn't, she isn't trained as a midwife, but she, she has done research and a lot of the women in the clan are really afraid of 
the normal midwife of the clan because the normal midwife Agnes is a complete bitch and scares people for no good reason and things like that. And so they turn to Judith and, you know, she delivers some babies and they, you know, just, oh my gosh, they love her and she sort of wins the clan that way. But the, the story with her and the clan is far more interesting than between her and Ian. There is definitely chemistry there and it, it works okay, but to me, that part was probably the, the least interesting part of the whole book. And if you have a romance novel and the romance isn't, you know, as interesting as the rest of the story, that's kind of a problem. Uh, so, yeah, I, I do, I, I enjoyed it enough to pick up the second book to start reading it. I had already bought it, so I was like, well, I might as well read it. But no, I actually, you know, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed this one enough to pick up the second one called Ransom. This was written several years later. I think this was written 2000 something. Um, oh, 1999. I cannot get my dates right. It was written seven years after um, The Secret. And this deals with two of the secondary characters that were introduced in The Secret. Um, one and one was way more secondary than the other. One was like pretty, I mean, he was mentioned a lot. The other person just kind of showed up near the end. Um, but it's about them. And it's actually, so far it's a lot better than this one. Um, so far the romance is, I mean, I'm 200 pages in to this one and the romance it has sort of happened. I mean, the guy's already kissed her, but that was that was over a hundred pages into it, and you know, lots of other things were happening. So that's fine. There's a story going on. It's like a, it's over five hundred pages long. It's a really big romance novel. But I think over the years, maybe she got better with the pacing, and and maybe that I don't know. I'll do a review of that when I'm done with it. It's a long book, but it's a romance, so it shouldn't take me too long. Um, I. Would probably I could probably safely recommend this though it's not terrible at all and it's a good it's a good um, it's a good time it didn't take me too long to read and I mean yeah it's just you know the, the, the hot Scottish guys and you know all the grr are chest beating and all that fun stuff um, she she characterizes people pretty well uh, like I said pretty much just the romance that was a little lackluster but even then it wasn't even that bad it was still it's still pretty good, but not as good as I would have liked it, but it wasn't too bad. So, yeah, um, I hope you found this helpful. Um, you know, pick this up if you see it at your used bookstore and give it a read. All right, I will see you later. Bye.